When you get a dog that you know has nothing, you want to give him everything. I am Andrea, and this is Morty's Story for Geo Meals. Oh my goodness. We were told at the shelter he was in North Carolina and kept outside on a chain. He has a really bad scar on the left side of his neck. Permanent reminder of his past. Cute. We wanted a pit bull because we had heard that they were loving and loyal and we didn't believe the stigma. Hey, what are you doing? We knew right away he was the one. <laughs> was lacking in a lot of manners. He jumped a lot. Hi. Morty didn't know how to play with toys. He chewed up a couple of things in the house. Come here. It just took training. It did take a few months, but that was to be expected. He's definitely closer to my husband than he is with me. My husband works 24 hour shifts at a fire station. Morty knows when he's coming home. It's so crazy. He'll run from the door to the garage and he'll go out and he'll meet him at the gate and he does the same thing every time. His brown eyes will melt your heart. His ears are his best feature. Oh. That's the one thing we get comments on the most. Good job. They're just big and floppy and they have a mind of their own. He's unique. If he had to choose between a human friend or a dog friend, he would choose the human friend. He can be a little funny around other dogs. He just loves people. Anytime we see someone, whether it's the mail carrier, if we're out having coffee, anybody that's around, he thinks they're there to see him. So he wants to say hi, tail just wagging. But he also has different moods. In the morning, he wants to do his own thing and he's ready to play for the day. In the afternoon, he wants to just kind of chill wherever we are. And in the evening, he's ready for bed. Like, leave me alone. I just want to go to sleep and relax. We try to pick up on different things he does and doesn't like. He does not like water. He hates the rain. Guessing, he was forced to stay outside in the rain. He can be very pushy when it comes to food because he is food motivated. If we're in the kitchen and we're making something, he expects to get something too. Unfortunately, we gave him a little too much food. So he's been on a diet. He got on a prescription dog food in October and he has lost about 10 pounds since then. He picks up on our emotions for sure. There are times when I get down about the discrimination that we face with his breed. And one time it just hit me hard one day and I was just sobbing and he got right up in my face. It's like he just knew that I was really upset and that made it all better. We don't know exactly the environment he was in in the beginning, but we know it wasn't good. And he went from that to a shelter, which we know shelters are chaotic. And then he went from that to our home, which is new and we're strangers. He doesn't know us, but he trusted us and he's shown us nothing but love. And I'm so grateful that he felt comfortable enough to give us a chance. I love you.